I'm Khalees, and this is everything I eat in a day. First thing I do when I wake up is orange juice. I am a bit of an orange juice snob. I won't just drink any kind of orange juice. And honestly, we started planting orange trees because I just felt like I needed like sufficient amounts. <laughs> I drink tons of orange juice. Then we'll do like specialty coffees and stuff. So, you know, we grind our beans and then we drink raw milk and we'll froth it. I hate unfrothed milk in my coffee. I don't ever want unfrothed. And then like sometimes we'll add like a little ginger or cayenne, sometimes some cacao. And then that's sort of like how I start my morning. And it just depends on what time I wake up, whether I'm making like big breakfast for the kids or if I'm like letting them fend for themselves. <laughs> my kids are pancake crazy, but I get tired of it because it gets sort of monotonous because they want pancakes every day. So like I might make quinoa flour or I'll use like cassava or almond and then like whatever fruits we have or sometimes I'll do savory ones. Also, we live on a farm. So we have a ridiculous amount of eggs all the time. So I'm always like, what can I add eggs <laughs> to? So I'm like, oh, okay. So like obviously eggs go in my pancake batter, but like, you know, I might make frittatas or eggs in chorizo. I like hard boiled eggs too, depending on like what, again, what kind of vibe I'm in. I just had a baby. So lately I've been trying to be more like cognizant about eating more regularly and also just eating like leaner things. So like I'll do three boiled eggs and then we smoke a lot of stuff here. And so like we'll smoke trays and trays and trays of salt. And then I infuse them with all kinds of different stuff. So like for me, like a hard boiled egg with like smoked habanero salt is the best. And then I'll put like some hot sauce. I make tons of hot sauce. I actually do it for a living. <laughs> like I make hot sauce. So I call it the truth because it is the best. And so like I always put like hot sauce or ahi um, on my hard boiled eggs. And that's sort of like how I start my mornings. So after breakfast, there's always lots of stuff to do here on the farm. I run my business from the farm right now ever since like COVID. So there's always tons of stuff to do. I mean, it could literally be anything from like, oh, the chickens busted out of the chicken coop. So like, gotta go figure that out. If we have like vegetables to harvest, we can do that. Usually I'm like dehydrating stuff and drying things out and making spices and rubs. So like that will kind of take up my morning. And then the kids start like, trickling into my like work studio and they're like, hey, we're hungry. We don't eat pork um, anymore. We don't eat shellfish, but we love, we're bacon lovers, which I know it's a whole thing, but we are obsessed with beef bacon. So we get these massive slabs of beef bacon. I might make like BLTs and we love, 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 love heirloom tomatoes. And like, I personally think we grow the best arugula ever. I'm obsessed. I went through a whole bread baking situation over this whole year because of quarantine. So usually it's like, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm cutting the bread, I'll make BLTs. Depending on what kind of sauce I made that week, that will be the place of the mayo um, on the BLT. But it's usually something like that, or like we had pumpkin season. So like we just harvested, ton I mean, we had pumpkin everything, pumpkin soup, pumpkin sugar, pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffins, <laughs> dried pumpkin, like pumpkin chips. So like maybe I'll do like, heat up some soup for the kids and then like make like a grilled cheese or something. Yeah, it's like, it's generally what I, I think I'm able to, to squeeze in the most kind of like veggies and stuff for the kids, which has gotten a lot easier now that we live on the farm because they'll like walk through the garden and they're like, oh, look, there's celery and cilantro. We can just eat it and like stuff like that. So it's actually gotten them to eat a lot more of the good stuff. Well, so we moved to the farm last year. So we're all teaching each other because none of us had a clue like at all about any of this. It was kind of just like, we like food. We want it to be good food. So like, what do we do? To be honest with you, I think the whole thing is still kind of like, I'm still shocked that it's all working. <laughs> I love our citrus trees. And we have all different kinds from like pink lemonade to like limes and blood orange, Meyer lemons. I love all our citrus trees. Even the garden, just the fact that like to be able to start with a seed, like super, super tiny seed. And then like we had kale galore. We had so much kale. I made kale chips, <laughs> we had kale soup. We had kale for days, for weeks actually. I think we still have some kale chips left over. Dinner for us is where we really go in. If my oldest is like, if Knight's like, hey, how about Thai? I'll make like a Tom Ka soup, or we'll do like, you know, Pad Thai, or sometimes we'll make like arepas, and like I'll do all this like different infusing, and we have a dry ager, so we dry age meats and stuff, do lots of lamb, because we are slowly becoming sheep farmers, learning that whole process. So we eat a lot of lamb here, like lamb sausage, lamb chops, lamb stew, lamb, 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 lamb. <laughs> My favorite meal to cook, I'm a saucier, so for me it's always sauce 
centric. I do make a lot of ahi. My husband's Colombian, so he likes to take credit for the fact that he introduced me to ahi, which he did. It's like chimichurri minus the oil and it's different ingredients, but it's the same concept, right? So it's like cilantro, green onions, onions, tomato, garlic, lime, habanero or jalapeno or whatever peppers you're growing or you've got, you can get, salt, and I like to put a little pepper and then water. And then you put it in a blender, it's delicious. And like that with like a steak or on eggs or on a sandwich or with beans or it's just, it's just bomb, it's good with everything. If I learned anything from the Cordon Bleu, I mean, I learned a lot. Knowing just the fundamentals of like what all the ingredients do. We used to do like blind taste tests. We would actually have written tests where we'd have to write like what all these spices were or what all these seasonings were. Cause I feel like I can pretty much taste something and make it. Recently, I've started like experimenting with a lot of raw stuff. So like doing like lots of green juice, but like raw pies. I started experimenting with like raw pies and raw cookies. I love the fact that like you can make something that feels really decadent and really rich and lush and it be like sugar-free and no processing and just so good for you. And I use a lot of the ingredients from the farm. So that's kind of been, that, that's like my new kick. Like recently, like I'm making all these different kinds of raw pies. Oh my gosh, a favorite food city. I mean, I travel for a living, so like, Quite frankly, I don't even go anymore if there's not stuff I wanna eat. <laughs> I'm like, where? Eh. I'm Puerto Rican. I grew up eating a lot of Puerto Rican food. So that's like, it just always feels like home for me. I don't think I can choose just one. Like I love Beirut, some of the best Middle Eastern food. I feel like it's like the best of all the Middle Eastern food. I love, 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 love Shanghai. New York. New York is still one of the best food cities in the world. I like to eat. So honestly, like I find great places to eat everywhere I go. <laughs> And that's everything I eat in a day. Thanks for watching.